Hello everyone. In today's session, we will talk about the chain of pointers. So let's start. So let me uh, first uh, write some draw some pointer. Let's say I say that uh, okay. Uh, let's say I say integer no and ten, right? Um, now let let me take pointer integer asterisk p1 that's it right and uh, then uh, I'll say p1 is equal to address of no1 right so when I do this I know inside the memory it will create one memory location it has address it has the name no which contains 10 and uh, it may have it uh, let's say the address of this location is 1 2 B H this is just an example point of view let's say this is the address 12 B H 0 0 this is the address right so when I write this this will happen when I write into this this statement this one what will happen at that time in the memory somewhere one block will be created or the reserved for the p1 and let's say the address of this p1 is uh, 3 5 c h 0 2 this is the address right now when i do this thing address of n o into the p1 means my 12 b h 0 0 will come over here 12 b h 0 12 b h 0 0 and this will point to this location right this is the thing so this is about the simple one pointer now let's say let's say i write let's say okay let's say i write integer star star p2 when i say star star p2 at that time what will happen inside the memory inside the memory it will create one we reserve one block for the p2 and of course it will have some address let's say 3300 h for example this is the address now see this is the pointer of pointer this is a simple pointer which can hold the address of another variable but when i say double asterisk p2 or a double asterisk pointer means this pointer contains address of pointer address of pointer right so let's say let's say that uh, i'm assigning the value okay so i can write this way p2 is equal to p1 or address of p1 so in that case in that case what will happen the address of p1 is 3 5 c h 0 2 and this is pointing to this p1 right so this is the chain if i say the third pointer let's say I declare the third pointer let's say integer star 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 p3 right so in that case it will create it will reserve p3 and of course it has some address and then I write p3 is equal to address of p2 and what is the address of p2 this 3 3 0 0 h and at that moment 
it will point this location right so see what we are creating we are creating the chain we have created the chain like if i want to reach to the 10 if i want to reach to the 10 and through the p3 i need to travel this way right so this is called the chain of pointers this is called the chain of pointers where one pointer point to one pointer this pointer point to another pointer and like this so now the question is if i want to access if i want to print what will what will what will i get if i print n o what will i get 10 okay if i print asterisk p1 what will i get because p1 pointing to this so the value of the variable it points to so 10 when i say star star p2 in that case see p2 this p2 points to this but this points to this means i am talking about the two chains means again it will print the 10 if i say star 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 p3 in that case so let's see 1 2 and 3 so it will print the 10 right so this is the concept of the chain of pointers